Hello, this is David Overholm. I'm with DWD Technology Group in Fort Wayne. I want to show you today a trick you can do uh, that if you're getting a message that a uh, purchase order, receipt of goods, is currently referencing this purchase order, um, I'm going to show you a shortcut way to fix this. Uh, I want to start out, though, by cautioning that if you're not an advanced Sage 100 user, and by advanced I mean if you're not uh, an expert at Sage 100 or consider yourself very close to that, I don't think I would try what I'm going to do. Um, this is only for more advanced users. Uh, you have to be familiar with uh, data file display and maintenance uh, specifically. So. Uh, what I'm going to show you, uh, and, I, and I guess I'll give you a little bit of background. I, I want to show you this is because I get a lot of calls on this, um, that a purchase person goes into purchase order entry. Uh, they go in and they pick a purchase order that they want to look at, or they may even be going into receipt of goods entry trying to receive this purchase order, and they get this message. Receipt of goods in batch. And sometimes a batch number might be listed, other times it might not. You'll see in this case it doesn't even list a batch number. But receipt of goods in batch is currently referencing this purchase order. And you say OK, and basically uh, you can't do anything on this purchase order because it's grayed out, it's locked by a receipt of goods batch. Um, just for demonstration purposes, I'll show you if I click on 14, I get receipt of goods and I do get a batch number uh, or receipt of goods number and a batch number is currently referencing this PO. Uh, again it's locked I can't do anything with it. Um, all I can do is click on OK. Well the difference in these two if I go into purchase order receipt of goods entry uh, I notice there's only one batch out here so I go in here and I look uh, my purchase order, or uh, I guess PO number is not even listed in here by default. PO number 14 is in this batch, 13 is in this batch. I don't have any other POs in this batch. Uh, go back and customize our lookup. Put purchase order number in there. Now I can see purchase order. So I can see 13 and 14 are in there. But when I was over here in purchase order entry, I was trying to grab 10003, and I got this message. It's not listing a batch number. It's not listing a receipt of goods. Uh, and I've gone over. I've checked in my receipt of goods. I can see I have batches out there, I can, but that PO is not in any of them. The standard Sage answer for this is to get everyone out of purchase order, um, have everything updated, and then you need to reinitialize all the PO files. There's like six or seven of them that need to be reinitialized and then rebuild sort files, and this message will go away. Well, as a consultant, uh, I quite often run into this at a customer or client that cannot kick our way out. So we either have to go in after hours and do it or uh, or what we've what we've learned how to do is, is what I want to show you today. And that's a way to go ahead and get rid of this message without uh, having to kick everybody out. So again, this is only for more of an expert type user. Make sure if you don't understand any of the steps that I'm about to show you, if you don't understand them, make sure you contact your reseller, contact us, contact me. Um, and let us fix it the right way. But uh, but if you're very familiar with data file display maintenance, this is actually quite easy to do. So I'm just going to go into Library Master, Data File Display and Maintenance. That popped up on my other screen. So so um, there's a record in a file out here. 
I'm in company ABC. Purchase order. And it is this file right here, PO receipt, return, materials, requisition by PO. I'm going to go out and I'm going to take a look at this file. Uh, I can do a key lookup. Now, if you remember, I only had two receipt of goods in uh, my actual receipt of goods entry file, and I've got three records in here. Um, the key here is the purchase order number, and there's the 1003G. So if I select that one, I can see there's no entry number, there's no batch number. This is basically just a uh, stranded record that's in the PO in, in this file right here. So if I delete that, well, I'm going to say no for just a moment, just to confirm everything. If I go back to purchase order entry, try and bring up 1003. Receipt of goods, can't do anything with it. Click this, make sure you got the right record. And here again, this is where, you know, I will, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this record. So if you're not sure what you're doing and you delete a record that really needs to be there, you can cause bigger problems than fixing it. I've done this often enough. I know what I'm doing. Got rid of that record. The other two are still in there. Everything's good. I don't even need to rebuild sort files at this point. I can go right back into purchase order entry. And voila, I can get to my PO. I can also put it in a new receipt of goods batch or whatever I need to do with it. I hope that was helpful. Again, make sure you know what you're doing. Uh, if you're not sure about this, I wouldn't advise proceeding with it. But uh, if you've got any questions or would like any help, um, give me a call. The next slide you see should have all of my contact information along with EWD's uh, phone number and contact information. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it.